Coming up, it's the high school quiz show quarterfinals with Newton North High School. Chelmsford High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Need to file a claim? With Safety Insurance, you can use the latest technology or you can call your local independent agent. Either way, Safety Insurance is committed to providing customer service that can help you manage life's storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, uh, Billy Costa. Now, today's matchup is the third of our quarter final rounds. We are down to the final eight teams, and yes, the competition is intense. Today's matchup has Chelmsford High School taking on Newton North High School and on the Chelmsford team. We have Peter, John, Ben, and Melanie with the alternates on the sidelines, Cam and Charlie and coach Craig Vitale. <laughs> and for Newton North, we have Louie, Max, Paris, and Isabella with the alternate Max on the sidelines and Coach Richard Sates. Okay, so the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round, and we will start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers, and if everybody is ready, teams, good luck, and here we go. Immediately following the historic Brexit vote to leave the European Union, what British currency fell to its lowest level since 1985? Yes, Louis. The pound. The pound is right. It wasn't until 2013 that Mississippi officially ratified what constitutional amendment that banned slavery? Yes, Max? The 13th. Yes, many people in India speak English, a combination of English and what other language? Yes, Max? Hindi. Yes. Uh, in 2016, Kayla Harrison from Danvers, Massachusetts, won her second consecutive Olympic gold medal in what martial art? Yes, Paris? Judo. Yes. Take a look at your monitors. Uh, and this 14th century altarpiece is an example of what type of artwork that is divided into three panels that are typically hinged? Yes, Peter? Trifold? No, Newton North, you want to take a shot? Yes, Paris? Triptych. Triptych is right. Uh, for his sympathetic humor and keen social perception, what author of The Grapes of Wrath won the 1962 Nobel Prize in Literature? Yes, Isabella. John Steinbeck. Yes. Which of these animals, anglerfish, parrotfish, or pufferfish, is bioluminescent? Yes, John. Anglerfish. Yes. What Texas billionaire received nearly 20 million votes in the 1992 presidential election, the most ever for a third party candidate? Yes, Max? Ross Perot. Yes, in 2014, what heroine from the Disney film Frozen dethroned Barbie as the most popular girl's toy? Yes, Peter? Elsa. Yes. All right, take a look at your monitors, and here comes your next question. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. <laughs> Here's my question. Vomiting may be gross, but it's pretty important for your body. In fact, your brain has its own vomit center that triggers this uncontrollable act. It's located in what region that forms the lowest part of the brain stem? And Peter? Cerebellum? No, Newton North, you want to take a shot? Louis? The hindbrain? No, medulla oblongata is the answer. I know so many last words, but I will never know hers. A boy named Miles says this in the novel Looking for Alaska, written by whom? Yes, Louis. John Green? Yes. Who was president of the United States when the Berlin Wall came down in 1989? Yes, Max. George H.W. Bush. Yes. How many of the eight planets in the solar system have rings? Peter? Three. No, Newton North? Yes, Max? Two. 
No, four is the answer. Which of the following U.S. cities is located the farthest north? Is it A, Milwaukee, B, Fargo, or C, Minneapolis? Yes, Max? Fargo. That is correct. Uh, math question. Numbers rule the universe. Uh, this quote is attributed to what Greek mathematician best known for his geometric equation, A squared plus B squared equals C squared? Yes, Paris. Pythagoras. Yes. Uh, during the American Civil War, what British monarch maintained a policy of neutrality and did not officially recognize the Confederacy? Yes, Ben. Victoria. Yes. In 2016, what American singer-songwriter surprised many by not going to Sweden to pick up his Nobel Prize for Literature in person? Yes, Peter. Bob Dylan. Yes. For more than 30 years, what author owned Cotchford Farm uh, in Surrey, England, near the 500-acre wood? A.A. Uh, A. Milne is the answer. And with about 37 million speakers, what is the second most common language spoken in U.S. homes after English? Yes, Peter. Spanish. Yes, in October 2016, uh, voters in Colombia rejected a historic peace agreement with what left-wing rebel group? Yes, Max. FARC. Yes. Which of the following are the two most abundant elements by mass found in Earth's crust? Is it A, aluminum and iron, B, calcium and carbon, or C, oxygen and silicon? Yes, Max. C, oxygen and silicon. Correct. Sukarno became the first president of what Asian country when it gained independence from the Netherlands in 1949? Yes, Ben. Indonesia. Yes. In the Sophocles play, Oedipus Rex, uh, what queen learns from the uh, Delphic oracle that her newborn son is destined to kill his father and marry his mother? Yes, Peter. Jocasta? Yes, name the highest and most common isotope of hydrogen. Yes, John? Hydrogen one. No, Newton North, you want to try? Uh. Whoop, did he make it? No, answer, proteum. And now a math question. Uh, Kathy sold twice as many peaches in the afternoon as in the morning. If she sold a total of 360 peaches that day, then how many peaches did she sell in the afternoon? Yes, Max? 240. Yes. Two of Australia's major cities, Brisbane and Sydney, are on the coast of what ocean? Yes, Melanie? The Pacific. Yes, recently made into a film. What romantic tearjerker by Jojo Moyes is about a young woman hired to take care of a young, wealthy, disabled man? Peter? Me before you? Yes, the European uh, Extremely Large Telescope is slated to be the largest optical telescope ever built. It is currently being constructed in what South American country? Yes, Max? Chile. Yes. Uh, the 1984 Winter Olympics were held in what Bosnian capital city? Yes, Melanie? Sarajevo. Yes. Uh, it's been called the ultimate cold case. More than 500 years ago, 12-year-old Edward V and his younger brother, Richard of Shrewsbury, were last seen alive in what building? Yes, Isabella. The Tower of London. Yes. And at nearly twice as large as Dallas, what city has the highest population in Texas? Yes, Paris. Houston. Houston is right. I would give my money, I would give my life for my children, but I wouldn't give myself. Who wrote this in her novel, The Awakening? Yes, Peter. Virginia Woolf? No, Newton North, you want to try? Kate Chopin. And what was the name of the main trade route that connected Asia and Europe during the Middle Ages? Yes, Max? The Silk Road. Yes. Uh, what Roman god of the underworld is the equivalent of the Greek god Hades? Yes, Ben? Pluto. Yes. More than a third of all... Oh! Whew. There's the bell ending the round. The score right now, Chelmsford High School, 110 points. Newton North, 180 points. Let's hear it, folks. <laughs> Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next, but first, we take a break. It's what we do on High School Quiz Show. It's a breather. Everybody gets to answer this question, okay? And we're going to start with Chelmsford High School and you, Peter. And here's the question. If you could teach a class in any subject, what would you teach and why? I would probably teach math because it's my favorite subject in school. Okay, and John? Physics because it incorporates um, areas of most math and science. Okay, and Ben? I would choose history because I feel like a lot of people could learn from it. 
All right, and Melanie? I would choose music because I play the viola and I feel like it's a really underrated subject. Oh, cool. Uh, Newton North, it's your turn, Louis. Um, I think I would do the history of music because I really like listening and I also like history. Okay, and Max? I would do material science um, just to think, I don't, yeah. Just to do it. You know what? Just because you can. Paris? I would teach a class in psychology because I think it's interesting to understand like why people act the way they do. Oh boy, wouldn't I love to know. Isabella? I would teach a class on Shakespeare and politics. Because Boy, why you guys not? are all very concise uh, in this round. Uh, so here's the deal. We're going head to head. And the way it works, Chelmsford High, you're all coming down. Newton North, you're all coming down. So you know what? Come on down. Let's go head to head. <laughs> we are about to go head to head. But first, we do have a score correction. In the first round, on the question about the most common isotope of hydrogen, Chelmsford answered hydrogen one, which is an acceptable answer, so we are adding 10 points to Chelmsford's score. Now, I've got Newton North to my left. I have Chelmsford to my right. You guys want to shake hands, get things going? Good luck. And Good luck. Uh, here's the deal. In this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. And the clock is now set at 90 seconds. Here we go. Name the author of the book On the Origin of Species. Yes, Darwin. Yes. In 2016, what female singer won a Grammy Award for the song Bad Blood? Yes. Taylor Swift. Yes. What character is the narrator of the novel Moby Dick? Yes. Ahab. No, Ishmael. Uh, what famous waterfall is on the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe? Yes. Angel Falls. No, Victoria Falls. What global conflict was called the war to end all wars? Yes. World War I. Yes. What country is home to a giant monolith called Ayers Rock? Yes. Australia. Yes. In the human body, the pituitary gland secretes a hormone called HGH, which stands for? Yes. Human growth hormone. Yes. What political commentator is the author of the books Killing Lincoln and Killing Kennedy? Yes. Bill O'Reilly. Yes. Hassan Rouhani is the president of what Middle Eastern country? Iran. Uh, what is the chemical symbol for arsenic? Yes. A-R. No, no A-S is the answer. Uh, the Scarlet Pimpernel is a novel set during the early stages of what war? The French Revolution. Uh, what major religion is commonly represented with the symbol of the crescent moon and star? Yes. Islam. Yes. What does the R stand for in the childhood MMR vaccine? Rubella. What U.S. state is nicknamed the Tar Heel State? Yes. North Carolina. Yes. What Canadian province? Oh, there's the bell ending round two. Chelmsford High School right now, 140 points. And Newton North High School, 210 points. This is a good game. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Pop quiz. Unreadable masterpieces. I'm a believer. City of Lights. Fight the power. And to boldly go. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to need your answer. Chelmsford High, you've got a little ground to make up. You get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Uh, I'm a believer for 10. OK, these are questions about world religions. And for 10 points, in the Bible, Eve gets most of the blame for eating the forbidden fruit, but Adam and Eve are equally blamed in what holy book of Islam? Yes, Max? The Quran. Yes, and you've got the board. Newton North, category. Uh, I'm a believer, please. I'm a believer this time for 15 points. What uh, ceremonial dinner held on the first or second night of Passover commemorates the exodus from Egypt? Yes, Paris? Seder. Yes, you've still got the board. Uh, I'm a believer. This time for 20 points. What seven-letter word, meaning becoming extinguished or blowing out, describes the highest stage of enlightenment in Buddhism? Yes, Max? Nirvana. Yes, and you've still got the board, Newton North. Uh, we'll continue. Uh, I'm a believer for 25 points. Deep respect for family, elders, and ancestors forms the basis of what ancient Chinese philosophy? Yes, Louis. Confucianism? Yeah, that is correct, and you've still got the board. 
Uh, we'll go with pop quiz. Moving over to pop quiz, new category for the round, questions about popular culture. For 10 points in 1991, who sent a memo to MTV requesting that VJs refer to him as the king of pop? Yes, Peter. Michael Jackson? Yes. You've got the board, Chelmsford. I'm a believer for 30 points. Back to I'm a believer, 30 points at stake. What indigenous faith that's as old as Japan itself remains Japan's major religion alongside Buddhism? Yes, Max? Shinto. Shinto is right. And Newton North, you've got the board, but you'll need a category. Uh, we'll go with City of Lights, please. City of Lights. New category for the round. Questions about Paris for 10 points. Point zero, the place where all official distances from Paris are measured is a bronze compass rose set in paving stones outside what Gothic cathedral? Isabella. Notre Dame. That is correct. You've still got the board. Category? Uh, City of Lights, please. For 15 points. Uh, the Miracle of Marne was a World War I battle that stopped the Germans from taking Paris. French troops were rushed from Paris to the front line via which of the following? Was it A, bicycles, B, taxi cabs, or C, trains? Yes, Peter. B. B, taxi cabs is correct. And Chelmsford, you get the board. City Category? Of City of Lights. Uh, for 20 points, uh, the Paris Opera House has a hidden underground lake and was the site of a deadly chandelier crash in 1896. Elements that inspired what gothic novel by Gaston Larue? Yes, Ben? Phantom of the Opera. That is correct. You've still got the board, Chelmsford. Uh, City Lights, 25. 25 points. Founded in 1686, Café Procope is the oldest café in Paris. What author of Candide is said to have drank 40 cups of coffee a day at this establishment. Yes, Isabella. Voltaire. Voltaire is correct. Newton North, you've got the board. Uh, to boldly go, please. To boldly go, new category for the round. Questions about space exploration. And for 10 points, in 1969, what NASA mission successfully fulfilled President Kennedy's vision of landing a man on the moon before the end of the decade? Yes, Peter. Apollo 11. That is correct. And now, Chelmsford, you get the board category. City of Lights. Back to City of Lights. 30 points at stake here. Jim Morrison, Oscar Wilde, and Frederick Chopin are among the many luminaries buried at what famous Paris cemetery? Yes, Isabella. Père Lachaise. That is correct. And Newton North, you now have the board. Uh, to boldly go. To boldly go for 15 points. Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth, was launched on October 4th, 1957. It stayed in orbit for which of the following? A, three days, B, three months, or C, it is still in space? Yes, Max? Three days. No, Chelmsford, you want to try it. Peter? Three months. Three months is correct, and Chelmsford, you have the board. To boldly go. For 20 points, named after a famous stone, what space probe ended its remarkable 12-year mission in 2016 when it crash-landed as planned on the surface of a distant comet? Yes, John? Rosetta. Rosetta is right. You still have the board, Chelmsford. To boldly go. Uh, this time for 25 points. When Sputnik 2 was launched in 1957, what was the name of the dog that became the first animal to orbit the Earth? Yes, Isabella. Leica. Leica is right. Newton North, you now have the board. We'll go with unreadable masterpieces. Unreadable masterpieces. This is a new category for the round, and it's questions about really hard-to-read books. For 10 points, with its stream of consciousness, prose, and opaque plot, Finnegan's Wake is considered one of the most difficult-to-read works of fiction in English. Who wrote it? Yes, Paris? James Joyce. Yes, and you have the board, Newton North. We'll go with unreadable masterpieces. 15 points. Ayn Rand's novel, Atlas Shrugged, is nearly 1,200 pages long and includes a 70-page speech on objectivism given by what main character? John Galt and Newton North. You still have the board. Uh, fight the power, please. Fight the power. This is a new category, questions about civil disobedience. And for 10 points, in 1930, who led the 200-mile salt march in defiance of a law requiring Indians to purchase salt from the government, an act that sparked widespread protest of British rule in India? Yes, Max. Gandhi. Yes, and you still have the board, Newton North. Uh, fight the power. For 15 points. In 1955, Rosa Parks sparked the U.S. civil rights movement by refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a public bus in what Alabama city? Melanie. Montgomery. Yes, and now Chelmsford gets the board. To boldly go. 
to boldly go for 30 points. Now that the U.S. has ended its space shuttle program, NASA astronauts must rely on what Russian spacecraft to get to the International Space Station. Yes, Max. Soyuz. Soyuz is right. Newton North, you've got the board. You'll need a category. Uh, pop quiz, please. Pop quiz uh, for 15 points. What 1950s TV show about a Cuban band leader and his wife was the very first show in history to end its run while still being at the top of the Nielsen ratings? Yes, Peter? I Love Lucy. I Love Lucy is right. Chelmsford, you've got the board. Unreadable Masterpieces. Uh, unreadable Masterpieces for 20 points. Criticized for being archaic and dense. What book on the ancient history of uh, Middle Earth was written before The Hobbit but not published until 1977? Yes, John. The Silmarillion. That is correct, and you've got the board. Unreadable Masterpieces. Uh, 25 points. Who included almost no action or dialogue in her novel To the Lighthouse, a book about philosophical introspection? Melanie. Virginia Woolf. Correct, and you've still got the board, Chelmsford. Unreadable Masterpieces. 30 points at stake here. Who wrote the notoriously complex novel Infinite Jest, which is nearly 1,100 pages long, has 388 endnotes, some of which also have footnotes? Yes, Louis. David Foster Wallace. That is correct, and Newton North. You now have the board. Fight the power. Fight the power. Fight the power this time for 20 points. To protest a new tax on tea, Samuel Adams and the Sons of Liberty threw 342 chests of British tea into Boston Harbor on December 16th of what year? Yes, John? 1775. No, Newton North. Yes, Isabella. 1773. That is correct, and you have the board, Newton North. Pop quiz, please. Pop quiz, this time. 20 points. Who's best known for creating and starring in the groundbreaking Broadway musicals Hamilton and In the Heights? Isabella. Lin-Manuel Miranda. That is correct. And you still have the board Newton North. Fight the power. Fight the power for 25 points. Henry David Thoreau wrote Civil Disobedience after spending a night in jail in 1846 for refusing to pay taxes to a government that allowed slavery and waged war with what country? Max. Mexico. That is right. You've got the board, Newton North. Pop quiz. Back to pop quiz we go for 25 points. Author J.K. Rowling and her most famous creation, Harry Potter, share what birthday? Yes, Peter. July 31st. That is correct. Chelmsford, you've got the board. Uh, fight the power. Fight the power. 30 points at stake here. In a polarizing move that drew both praise and condemnation, what Kentucky clerk was jailed in 2015 for refusing to issue marriage licenses to gay couples? Yes, Isabella. Kim Davis. That is correct. And I only have the one category left. At least I did have the one category, but that ends the category round. The score right now, Chelmsford High School, 310 points. Newton North, 560 points. Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It is the lightning round, and uh, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 20 points. Uh, the clock is set. Good luck, teams, and here we go. Who wrote the classic mystery novel, Murder, on the Orient Express? Yes, Peter? Um, Christie. Agatha yes. Christie. Uh, how many dots are in the mathematical symbol known as a therefore sign? Yes. Three. Yes. Uh, the Maid of the Mist is a famous boat tour of what natural wonder? Yes, Peter. Niagara Falls. Uh, yes. Uh, what legendary British musician was known as the Thin White Duke? Yes, Paris. David Bowie. Yes. What element has the chemical symbol S? Peter. Sulfur. Yes. What four-word motto was displayed on the desk of President Harry S. Truman? The, yeah. the buck stops here. Yes. What's the name of Saturn's largest moon? Yes, John. Titan. Yes. Uh, what 11-letter word refers to a person who loves or collects books? Yes, Peter. Librophile? No, bibliophile. Bibliophile. Bibliophile is the right answer, but we have to take your first answer. Uh, what Spanish city is home to a medieval fortress called uh, the... Uh, yes. Barcelona? No, uh, Granada. Uh, what woman is best known as the creator of Grey's Anatomy private practice? Yes. Peter? Um, sorry, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Shonda Rhimes. Uh, what U.S. state is home to Sitka, a city called the Cap... Yes. Uh, Paris. Alaska. Yes. Uh, what green pigment is the main molecule that... Yes. Chlorophyll? Uh, yes. Uh, William Shakespeare died on April 23rd of what year? 
Yes, Peter. 1595? No, 1616. What is the state capital of Delaware? Yes, Peter. Dover. Yes. Uh, what Roman god is equated with the Greek god? Oh, wow. That's the end of the game. The winner with 620 points of this round, Newton North High School. <laughs> Chelmsford High School, 370 points. Congratulations to both teams. That was a great round. Newton North will now move on to play in the semifinals. Make sure you're back here because we'll be here. It is High School Quiz Show, everybody. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. of WGBH.